All right, so today we're going to talk about work. Work occurs when you apply a force and it moves because of the force. So what is it? It is whatever it is that you're applying a force to. So if you apply a force and something moves, then you've done work. Our equation is work equals force times distance times the cosine of theta, where theta is the angle between the force and the direction of movement. All right. So first, let's talk about this scientific word, work, okay? Work, in the scientific sense, is not the same as the work in everyday sense. In order for work to be done in the scientific sense, you have to apply a force, so force has to be applied, and the object has to move, okay? And part of those need to be going the same direction. At least components of them need to be going the same way. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this. Just a few examples. So for each of the following, identify whether the everyday or scientific meaning of work is intended. So for the first one, Jack had to work against time as the deadline neared. Jack is not applying a force to anything. There is nothing that is moving. This is the everyday meaning of work. Okay, Jill had to work on her homework before she went to bed. Okay, again, Jill's not applying a force to anything. Her homework is not moving. This is the everyday term for work. Jack did work carrying a pail of water up the hill. Okay, so Jack is going to go up a hill. All right, he's going to have to apply a force upward a little bit. Okay, and the pail is going to move upward a little bit. So there's a force and there's a distance move. So I'm going to say this is the scientific meaning of work. Jill works 20 hours a week, again, every day, okay, no, for, no force, no distance. A chicken scratches the ground. This depends, okay. Chicken's going to scratch the ground. I'm going to say it's going to apply a force. Is the dirt going to move or the chicken going to move? If they do, then there could be scientific work done. Otherwise, it might not be any work done. A person studies every day. No force, no distance moved. A crane lifts a bucket of cement. Scientific. Okay, there's a force being applied, and it says it lifts it, so there's going to be some movement. Okay, let's go ahead and go back. Look at this whole work thing a little bit more. Work is a scalar. Remember scalars and vectors? Scalars don't have a direction that goes with them. When we find the amount of work that's been done, it's just a magnitude. It's not work done east, north, south, or west. It's just the amount of work that's been done. The units. It is a newton times a meter, which we call a joule. Okay, now, other units are calories and the British thermal units. In our class, we'll be using joules because it makes most sense. Okay, but yes, calories are a unit for work. Okay, work can be positive or negative. The positive and negative doesn't tell us the direction, okay? It just tells us whether or not they were, the force and the direction the objects moved were the same or opposite, but it doesn't tell us north, south, east, west, okay? So, if the work is positive, that means the force and the distance moved were in the same direction, okay? So this person's pushing that direction. If the ball or the rock rolls up, then we say it would be a positive work done, okay? Another example of positive work done, okay? This guy is going to lift the dumbbells. He's going to apply a force going upward, and the bell, dumbbells, barbells, are going to move up. Okay, so now let's look at negative work. Negative work is when the force and the distance moved are not opposite directions. Well, when can this happen? All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, in this video, we're going to see the remote as it slides across the table. Now, there is a force applied by my hand in the beginning, but we're going to look at just the force that's acting on the remote, the force of friction, okay? The force of friction acts in the direction opposite, okay? So there is a force of friction that is causing it to accelerate by slowing down. 
and it is going this way, and the remote is going to the right. Let's watch. So again, the force of friction is going to the left, and the remote was going to the right. So that is an example of negative work. Okay, there could be zero work done. Things could be moved, and no work was done. When the force and the direction of movement are perpendicular, okay? So for example, if I carry a stack of books across the room, I am carrying the stack of books left and right, but the force I'm having to apply to hold them is an upward force, okay? So therefore, there's no work being done by me on the books. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk these folders across. And you're gonna notice that while I'm holding them, I am having to apply a force upward to keep them from falling. I'm not applying a force to the folders going left or right, to the ground with my feet maybe, but not to the books. So I'm not doing work on these books because they are moving horizontal and I was applying a force upward. And they were perpendicular to each other. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some examples. First part says determine whether work is being done in each of the following examples. So a train engine pulls a loaded box car initially at rest. Okay, well, I've got a train, maybe it's pulling this direction, and the loaded box cars are moving that direction, and they are accelerating because it was initially at rest, so yeah, there's a force being applied because there's an acceleration, and they're accelerating the same way that the train is going. Okay, the force is being applied, so yes, yes, there is work being done, and it's positive work. A tug of war is evenly matched. Okay, if a tug of war is evenly matched, then the force going to the right is the same as the force going to the left. So the net force is equal to zero. If the force equals zero, anything times zero is zero, there's not going to be any work done either. So the work would be equal to zero. A crane lifts a car. Well, the crane is going to apply a force upward and the car is going to move upward. So yes, there's work being done, and I would say it's positive work. A spaceship moves through space at a constant velocity. All right, well, it's moving, so there's a distance traveled. However, it's moving at a constant velocity. If it's moving at a constant velocity, the acceleration is equal to zero. Force equals mass times acceleration, so the force is equal to zero. Work is equal to force times distance times the cosine of the angle. Well, if the force is zero, then the work must be zero because this is all multiplication and anything times zero is zero. So in that case, no, there is no work being done. Determine if positive or negative work is being done. The road exerts a friction force on a speeding car skidding to a stop. Well. I'm going to say the car is going that way, force of friction would be going that way. Those are opposite directions, so we'd say negative work is being done. A rope exerts a force on a bucket as the bucket is raised up a well. Well, the force is going to, tension force is going to be upward. The bucket is moving upward, same direction, positive work. Air exerts a force on a parachute as the parachute slowly falls to earth. Well, there's your parachutist. The air is going to exert a force upward on the parachute. The parachutist is going to be going downwards. Those are opposite directions, so negative work will be done. The earth exerts a force on a bobsled as it moves down a track. Okay, so here's the track, my bobsled. The earth is exerting a force on the bobsled. Well, either it's exerting the normal force Okay, or a frictional force. There are two of them. Okay, and the bobsled is moving down the track. So that's the direction that bobsled is going. Okay, this force is perpendicular to the direction. So this one would be zero. 
This force is opposite the direction of movement. So the force due to the friction is going to be negative. So over overall, there's going to be negative work done.